Today's adventures take us to Alabama Golf Coast Zoo. Mm -hmm. Join us on our adventure. Today's adventures brings us to Weimar Island. The Alabama Gulf Coast Zoo. So lemurs enjoy the outside weather. So they got a nice little place. Oh. Even the lemurs have house on stilts. <laughs> yeah. Because I bet it gets flooded over here when they have hurricanes. Yeah, a lot of places are on stilts down here. Here, ducky duckies. Let's see, what do we have here? A very loud cockatiel. Hello! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! Oh, posing for the camera? I guess not. The cockatiel was squeaky like crazy until we got here. Now it's quiet. <laughs> pretty bird! Pretty bird! Pretty bird! You gonna dance for me? Likes to bob its head up and down. Called the Eonara Sulfur Crested Cockatoo. With a very, very loud screech. Here we have some green wing macaws. Very pretty. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Either that lion is really hungry or it's constipated. Uh oh, don't want to get it angry. Don't go into this marshy area. There's like some sort of green dinosaur there on that little island in the marsh. I don't know why you want to go back there. It's awfully, awfully murky water filled with like tons of algae. These are golfing cockatoos. Pretty bird, pretty bird. These, these cockatoos, these birds are quiet. Compared to the uh, cockatiel, it's uh, uh, that we saw a little bit earlier. It's oh yeah, super quiet. Super quiet is right. Oh, what's male and what's female? Pretty bird, pretty bird. The female is Casey and the male is Strut. <laughs> what a name, Strut. Come on, Casey, strut your stuff. Pretty bird. These are really pretty. Yeah. Um, so let's see. Uh, both of these birds were born in 1999. Uh, Casey is the female's 20 years old, and the male strut is 19 years old. They'll be turning 20 on April 28th. Oh, pretty Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Hi, yeah, you're gonna wave? Can I get a high five? Yeah. Oh. 
it's so cute. So yeah. Cute, pretty, pretty. Oh, you know, yeah. Get a little closer. Don't be shy. There's three gray wolves in this compound. They're all sleeping. This thing must be pretty tiny. They're probably nocturnal. No, probably not. Yeah, probably are nocturnal because because they probably do most of their hunting at night time. So during the daytime they they, they sleep. Yep. They look pretty comfortable. Yeah. Got some bobcats roaming around. Hello, bobcat. And there's the tigers asleep on their, I don't know what you call that, oversized table or something. They're just sleeping in the sun. Okay, these are Hamadras baboons. These animals you cannot feed because it's hazardous to their health. That's the store, the, the food that you get in the. In the uh, yeah, I guess the, the zoo, food that you get, you know, at the zoo or whatever. Two white tailed deer. One of them's named John Deer. <laughs> That's funny. Pretty tiger. Goes right over, right over the uh, fence. It might be like the alpha goat. He's been hogging a lot of the the food. <laughs> now even the the white sheep is coming down, <laughs> or is it your goat or sheep? Oh yeah, think about you. <laughs> oh, you didn't hardly get any. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You're gonna fight with him, aren't ya? Yeah, you're just a little festy guy, huh? We're trying to share here. <laughs> we're 
These are servo cats from Africa. They're very skinny. Uh, uh, sort of like a small, small head. Yeah. They're their property. The size is about 20 to 40 pounds and they stand at about two feet tall. They usually live um, 10 years in the wild but can live over 20 years in uh, captivity. Over here we have an African crested porcupine. I think there's two of them. You gotta make sure you don't startle them. They can shoot those, uh, their, uh, pie, their, uh, their beetles. Oh, yeah, better be very careful. <laughs> Have some more servo cats over here. One just looking out the fence, and then the other one is, uh, walking back and forth. Again, protecting its, its, uh, area. Protecting it from what? I don't know because it's in a cage, nothing's gonna hurt. <sighs> this is a really nice, pretty African leopard. In captivity, 21 to 23 years. The size is about 40 to 150 pounds. Five to eight feet long, including their tail. Back there on the rope is a common squirrel monkey. Hello. <laughs> we have another spider monkey. These are black bearded spider monkeys, a lot larger than the other one that we just saw. Yeah. Okay. Play nice. Pretty bird. Pretty bird. Oh, 
They're real hungry. I think that the donkey's hung hungry. There's a, like a deer, I guess. It's a very small monkey. Yeah, beautiful peacock. Now we have entered the reptile house. Whoa. Bearded dragon. Oh, we have a bearded dragon. You're right, hon. He's actually slightly more active than I see other uh, reptiles. We're going to go to the zoos. Hello. Hello. This is a green iguana. There's actually four of them in this enclosure. Oh yeah, there's one over there. Oh, there's a turtle down there. This is a columbine red-tailed boa. Pretty, pretty big snake. I don't want that wrapped around my neck at all. <coughs> this one is a yellow anaconda. Spider. Mm -hmm. So another yeah. pretty big snake too. It's a gopher tortoise. That's the Two red-footed tortoises. Two red-footed tortoises. This is a Puerto Rican boa. The snake's Snake. resting down there, but it just shed its skin, and the skin is up on this, up, up on the, the uh, logs there. This is called Arctic Blast. For two dollars, you go in there and feel cold air. Why don't you just go up to Chicago? You can get it for free. <laughs> Two dollars for cold air. I'd rather give you our. Uh, I'd rather take your warm air, give you our cold air for free. There's obviously a, few, a lot more things to see here in the warmer time than now. Well, I guess in probably about another year or something, they're moving. Four miles north of their current location. 2499 East Oak Road. County Road 6. 
Wow, this is going to be a really huge zoo when they reopen. move and reopen. Wow. New zoo will be 25 acres, will offer full entertainment education for all ages. We have a Monkey Island, Jungle, and, ooh, Jungle Adventureland, that sounds neat. Something called the Americas, where we're going to have bears and wolves. Uh, then they're going to have the African Savannah, and then, uh, there's an area called Big Cat Canyon. This is a really nice zoo to come visit. Only 11 bucks a person. Really nice and there's a lot to see and do here.